So again, the, the educational advantage of this process, we know the answer before we start, which is not the case in real life. And this is five, and this is six, and this is seven, and this is eight, and this is four, and this is three, and this is two, and this is one, and this is zero. To trade again, what was the numbers? 4.31, which is a little bit below 4. And what's the high number? 728. Okay, so you're saying you're somewhere between here and here. And again, you happen to be right. So hopefully, most of the class gets it right in that particular sense. But every now and then, because somebody picked a very high average or a very low average, which will happen randomly as you've done the other parts of the spinner assignment to think about it, that person might miss it. But so far, we're one for one. We expect to get four for anybody else do it? Four? This is 13, right? Yes. Uh, I got 1. 1.146. Yes. And 4.746. Okay. So you got what we Here, the fact that the intervals are different sizes is not surprising because everybody has this number is the same for everybody. In fact, what number do you, you pick for the T? Uh, 1.5332. That's perfectly correct. And hopefully you do the same thing. The N, of course, is 5. But this number is going to be different from group to group or person to person. So the interval width will be different as the size being higher and lower. It's also going to be you know, skinnier and, and, and shorter. Anybody else do it? Yes. 4.07, which is around here. 6.32. Now, the fact that your interval is very short, or skinny, or whatever, <coughs> is because probably your five numbers that you pick were all pretty close to each other. They weren't like nines and zeros and eights. They're probably, give me the five numbers. Five, four, four, five, eight. Okay, did you pick them up randomly or you made them in your head? What? Okay, so you know, well, those five numbers are practically the same, in which case your standard deviation was much lower than 2.87. What was your standard deviation? 1.64. Okay. 1.64. So it's unnaturally small just by luck, but that's, that's why your interval is so, so short. But you still covered the 4.5, so you still got it right. Anybody else? So if it's a smaller standard deviation, it would be a smaller well, spread. Yeah, if the is multiplied, you know, if the number gets bigger, the whole thing gets bigger. If it's bigger, then the, the whole spread is bigger, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah if you didn't cover the 4.5, it's not necessarily wrong, though. It's no, because it's only 80. Well, yeah. okay, again, the next number, not, since you guys didn't do it, I'll sort of make up numbers. Let's say the next person gets an answer like this. So, so far, 4 out of 5, 4 out of 4 people. And eventually, somebody yeah. might get an average of like 7.2. Yeah. 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 They're going to say the average is somewhere between here and here. Sorry. That person got it wrong. That person said, I believe the, I'm 80% confident the average is between here and here. And it's not that sound here. But you would have given Mark Long for that. Like, no, no, this was an educational yeah, yeah, yeah. exercise to see what's going on in real life. Wrong, this yeah, Again, yeah. the other thing is in real life, you don't do it 100 times or five times. You just do it one time. So when you do your one answer, you say, hey, I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm 80% sure. I'm pretty sure I'm right. And, um, you know, it's like anything. You make it like a probability decision. But this guy said, I'm also pretty sure I'm right. And that guy was wrong. You know, it just happens. OK, that takes care of reviewing the <coughs> spinner assignment from chapter 8. And now we have the homework from chapter 8. I suspect that if you didn't do the spinner assignment, you probably also didn't do chapter 8, which was, again, the homework for today. Am I right or wrong? Anybody do any examples in chapter 8 and have any questions about them? Anybody have any problem with chapter 8? OK, I hate to put people on the spot, but how many people did a few examples in chapter 8, confidence intervals? Okay. You, are the, you are the guys who are not going to get the 30s and 40s and 50s on the first test. We'll be getting the 90s, but the rest of the class will do what we traditionally do. We're now about to begin chapter 9. Now, chapter 9 and chapter 10 are the last chapters before the test. It's the it's two chapters. It's, you know, I basically pick one example out of each. So if you're if concentrating on chapter 7, 8, 9, and 10, like four examples mainly with a couple of little miscellaneous things like calculating a standard deviation or maybe making a little pie chart or histogram will be covered, um, the calculating the median. Those are worth, you know, in a couple of verbal questions, all that's worth about 15, 20%. But 80% of the test is chapter 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'll give an example out of chapter 7, which we covered I think, in detail last time. I never showed the class that video that I made to teach you, chat, to review chapter 7 with you, right? I never sent it to the class as an email and just told you about it. But I'm going to be able to do that if we have time today. Chapter 8, we went over last time and would have gone over today if anybody had questions about it. And now we're about to begin Chapter 9 and Chapter 10, which is literally half the test. So it's really important to understand. Plus, it's really important for Chapter 11, 12, 13, and 14. You need to know the hypothesis testing for the rest of the term. So, so please pay now. I'm going to do I can, I can teach you the formula in, like, how much time does it take to teach a formula like this? You know, so. 
a minute, two minutes, so you gotta figure out the average, you figure out the fee table, you look at the standard deviation, which is chapter three, you plug in a sample size, and you just do a calculation. The same thing for chapter nine, I can teach you the formula in three or four minutes, we finish with the whole chapter, but instead of taking three or four minutes, I'm gonna probably take three or four lectures, because I really want you to understand the fundamentals of it. And again, like always, I offer the, the concepts and the philosophy, the, 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 the ideas behind it, and if you have a question as I'm speaking, you say, Professor, I don't understand that what you just said. Can you please repeat it? Can you explain it? Give me another example. I'll be glad to do that. If you care enough to ask the question, I'll, I'll give you an answer. But you have to take responsibility and ask the question. <laughs>